Hey guys, Luigi Meister here. Welcome to my playthrough, Cosmic Star Heroine. Now, there's an interesting story about why I chose this as my sort of comeback series for YouTube. I actually love the company that makes Cosmic Star Heroines, the Void Games. I've played through Cthulhu Saves the World and Breath of Death 7 both. But for some reason, I got sidetracked when I was playing through this game the first time. And I never finished it. And it's not because the game was bad, the game is very good. I, I guess I just got distracted by another game or something. It's been a, a couple months, so I don't really remember why exactly. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to come back to it after all these months. So, rather than wasting time with you, although I'm sure this soundtrack is pretty nice to listen to, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the game. We do heroin difficulty because I haven't beaten the game, so I'm not comfortable with this. But I don't want to play on, on these two easier modes. So. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comments section whether or not I should read this kind of text uh, during the game. Because I know I might end up skipping through it too fast if I don't read it, and it's kind of a weird awkward downtime if I do, don't read it also. So I'm just going to ask. Uh, I'm not going to read this conversation because I'm talking over it like I am right now, but the future, I would like to know. So, it's a hostage situation. We gotta go save them. No, I, I, I was making, um, I was doing some tests earlier, and I just noticed. I didn't notice this the first time I played this, or maybe I forgot. But like, this is cool. The, uh, this is the producer of the game, and that's the people who do the music for the game. And they put them on there, graffiti for the credits. All right, so. When you do attacks, it'll tell you how much style you get for them. And it gives you more damage and ailment success. Enemies get it too. Uh, so basically, you want to end battles as fast as possible if you can. And when you get to hyper mode, you have double damage and double ailment success. And ailments are actually pretty useful in this game, unlike a lot of other RPGs where ailments are kind of useless sometimes. The big exception for that being the Etrian Odyssey series, where ailments are quite good. Now you'll see when we bring this up, this guy is weak to water. So, we want to go ahead and use the water move first. I appreciate the 16 bit graphics a lot, and the music. The music is so jamming in this game. I'm trying to remember what CR is. It's been a while. Skybreaker Systems, the cutting edge in power and defense. Right. Must be one of the companies. For those not aware, um, this is a sci-fi RPG, a lot like... I wouldn't say Fantasy Star, really, because it's got a whole different feel than the Fantasy Star that I remember. But it's a lot like, like your typical sci-fi universe, right? I'll explain all of these systems as we get into them. It's basically just telling us about equipment and items in these text boxes. Shield breaker. Okay, got a grappling hook. Yes or booyah? I mean, do I get a? Do I not get the chance to say no? I mean, I'm gonna say booyah. Okay. Assume they're weak to water again because they're robots. Yep. I should probably save that move until after I build up. Yeah, I should be saving it for when I build up hyper. Oh well. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use first aid. This game doesn't have any mana system, but you probably noticed already your skills get crossed out over time. And you need to use this command. Or one similar to it. You get other versions of it later. Um, they give all your abilities back. Like use the hyper to do extra damage to that guy. When your character's yellow and glowing is when you're in hyper mode. Okay, level up. Nice. Okay. You might notice a little jump cut there. I had to move my recording window to actually see what my time was on my recording clock. Thought I'd give you a hand. No, oh, well, you brought bad guys to me. I wouldn't call it giving me a hand. John is one of my favorite characters, just because she summons literal copies of guns and shoots people. I think it's called Gunmancy in the game. I mean, it's one way to live your life. Just suicidally jumping on a hostage mission because you're bored. Uh, I always appreciate how wacky the characters tend to be in some void games. Normally losing all of them. Right, right. If you have st enough style points, you get to survive with negative HP, which is an interesting mechanic in this game. And I remember using it a lot when I played through the most of the game the first time. The characters are still in desperation mode at the end of their turn, they get knocked out, heal quickly, or go out with a bang. Right, right. I remember now. Okay. I'm not going to be changing the difficulty. I might raise it, but I doubt it. Because, like, the other difficulty above this is, like, the one that you play if you're just kind of a masochist, I'm pretty sure. Get to save. Alright. Save right now. Oh, I love this. Got some good menus. I'm going to turn default to run, honestly. Didn't I get some kind of equipment? I swear I did. No? Okay, never mind then. Alright, more combat. Uh, these guys tweaked anything? No. I'll just do this then. They're bright. Yeah, she has this. I don't think there's any point doing that. In two-person combat, though. Because it's you're kind of wasting a turn to do the same thing you could have done anyways, so I probably won't be doing that from now on. I really want to figure out what CR does. I'm assuming it teaches you skills, because I think it's like the stuff in TP in Chrono Trigger that gives you techs. I could be wrong about that. I'll fight you a second dog. Poison Mist. Oh, right! I remember this mechanic. Like, you get these items in combat, and I think they're permanent. You can continually use them. I could be wrong. There's just other options. This game has a lot of options in combat, as we'll come to see. We'll get more into it in the when I actually have more options to talk about. Well, this isn't going to work on this guy's a robot dog. Alright, she has healing gunmancy. Oh yeah, that's what else the multi target gunmancy is good for is healing. Because like you can you can hit the multiple gunmancy skill or whatever it's called. We'll see next turn, and then. It hits everybody in your party with the healing skills, so it's, there's so much strategy in depth. I can go on forever about how much I appreciate. Like, recently, I Am Setsuna came out, another like Chrono Trigger esque RPG. Like, this is like the same kind of style as like the Chrono Trigger era of RPGs, right? And I Am Setsuna didn't really do a whole lot to set itself apart from Chrono Trigger, but I think this game does like a lot of things, the combat system especially. Just like all the added mechanics, you know? I 
Because they could have easily, you know, not done all these added mechanics like the the style system and the desperation system and everything else, which are all very fun. Uh, I think they add a lot to the game. They could have just made it just straight up like a copy of Fantasy Star or Chrono Trigger, but they didn't, which I appreciate. There are uh, there's too many companies I think these days, like the company that made Ukulele. I don't remember their name. Um, the company that made Ukulele. They they kind of copied Banjo Kazooie too hard, as opposed to like a Hat in Time who made their own kind of niche game. I think companies are doing way too much of ukulele these days and not trying to be imaginative with like reimagining old concepts. All right, so I got a new skill for Alyssa, who is the main character of this game. Obviously, I mean, she had that whole fancy cutscene at the start. Boost damage by 40% for one ally for three turns. Effect halved and cast on self. Right. I remember using this a lot by like inspiring Chan right before she multiple gun mancied on people. Yeah. Wait. Get equipped by default? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, hey, hostages. That guy looks like Solid Snake. Is that intentional? The guy in like the bottom left with the brown hair. He kind of reminds me of Solid Snake. What about the hostages, boss? Who cares? They were only a diversion in case if any of those knucklehead agency freaks showed up. Hey, boss. Not now. Should we let them know we're here or what? I think they'll figure it out after we hit them a few times. She's got a point. Uh, that, that would be my my approach to diplomacy, honestly. Brof Broxton, you have been deemed guilty of crimes against humanity. Your evil ends now. Okay, well this is an instance. <sighs> I'm trying to think of my what I want to do. Oh, I want to do this first. Inspire her. And focus. So I'm gonna try to hit all three of them at once. Style up. Uh oh. Bully with the gun. The, the fun, one of the fun parts about Zaboid games is they always have descriptions for the enemies you fight. Not a 2 bit thug, at least a 16 bit thug. Get it, because it's a 16 bit game. Got a heart of gold. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit this guy. First rule of RPG is you gotta hit, kill all the ads first. I don't really want to waste. Nah, I'm just gonna waste it. It's fine. I need to get this guy out of the way. Never heal yourself. There we go. Can you stop? I really appreciate. She might get killed this turn. Do the same thing. Oh, I got lucky. Why did that guy attack? I guess it wasn't in his AI or something. You can see there's a lot of strategy. I'm, I'm sorry about talking too much. Um, like you have to, you have to, you have to take your turns step by step to make sure you don't like make the wrong choices. Because you've always got to have a certain level of skills up, so you have options in combat. But like you also want to use skills, so you don't want to use the recharge thing too often because that's like a waste of a turn in a way. So I'm do this. Oh yeah, I never explained. The percent meters below our health, which is 28 for Alyssa and 60 for Chan, is the style meter, um, which keeps on going up throughout combat. Do more and more damage. That's fine that she's going to be negative 10 because I'm about to kill him. 
Now you saw the desperation system right there. I didn't get you didn't get see much of it, but you're allowed to drop below a certain amount of health as long as you have above 50% style. And I think it drops your style points to zero. Could be wrong. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out as we go. I think you're so clever sneaking up on us like that, but let's see how you're failing against Skybreaker technology. Oh man, he's getting in his mech. Ooh, new soundtrack. As you can see, this guy has the same weakness to water. Um, a good setup for Alyssa. Um, in most of the early game combats, it's inspire first turn someone else on your team and then use whatever skill the enemy's weak to. Because she almost always gets to her... Uh, I forget the name of the yellow state right now. I'm sure people will be screaming at me in the comments section about that one. Uh, Probably heal. Yeah. You gotta watch out with bosses, because like the longer their style goes up, eventually they can like one shot you almost. If you don't get killed them fast enough. You gotta be real careful about it. You get, notice right here, you can reuse. A lot of characters will have skills they can reuse to make it so you only expend your like other options when you need to. You always have this one option that you don't have to use this skill to get back. So. Have her heal. I think this is a good turn for her to do this. Get one more attack in and I'll probably, yeah. First a Sean. Then I'll... Well, she just healed, so I guess this isn't too much of a risk. Alright. I'm glad I'm not too bad at this game. It's been a while. I remember having a little bit of trouble with this guy the first time I played because I didn't quite understand the systems very well. Victory, all enemies defeated. Oh, nice. Vigilance. Now, see, here's another. I got another ability for restoring my skills. See, it says recharge abilities. I can swap out between the two I have now. Okay, he actually is dead, I think. I'm thinking of a different boss, I think, later in the game. Curse you, agency scum. You think you've won, but everyone in this building is about to die. Wahaha. -ha. Classic evil villains. Looks like a cool spaceship. Here's my ride. Bye, suckers. Wait just a minute. Detecting a time bomb in your area. Class 9. Guess that's bad. I don't have any contacts, but it sounds bad. We neutralize the hostiles. Can a defusal squad make it here in time? It's a negative, we only have a few minutes left. Get out of here and we'll try to contain the explosion. Wait, Skybreaker Tower is an experimental weapon facility. Oh, okay. That means I guess it'll blow up the surrounding area if it blows up. What's going on? What's Sean doing there? <laughs> she just decided she wanted to invade a hostile situation. With all the technology they're working on here, it wouldn't take much of a blast to start a massive chain reaction. That's right, it's hard to predict exactly the worst case scenario. Yeah, okay, what I thought, the entire city will blow up. <laughs> Shut up, hostages, we're busy right now. Alright, the hero of the hour, we're gonna go defuse the bomb, let's go. The main theme of this game is very good. This what plays on the title screen, I'm pretty sure. Found it right next to an experimental power supply, yeah. That would be making a big explosion. If you ever defused a bomb before, I'm well versed in the literature. Well that... <laughs> I agree with Dave. 
that's not very like reassuring at all. Good job, Super Spy Lisa. All right, so this should be a copter. Classic. So, ah, so that's the planet we're on. Planet Erenu? World of Endless Night. It's a cool looking space copter. Brand new General Appliances Incorporated. Oh, okay. That's what they're showing that us to us. Alright, that makes sense. May I help you? Like the spe special tour. I guess that's like the code word to get in the base. Sorry about that, Chief. Password accepted. Agent. Melissa LaSalle recognized. Welcome to the Agency of Peace and Intelligence. Congratulations on a mission well done, Agent. Just doing what needs to be done. I'm going to head on in. Take care. Alright, so I think right here is where we're going to cut off the first video. Got through the first opening sequence, which I think is pretty darn cool for uh, Indie Studio. And uh, we'll pick up here next time. So, I've been Luigi Meister, this is Cosmic Star Heroine, and I will see you guys next video.